So I have a, a good knowledge of the working of our governmental institutions. Now, as regards uh, these um, dismissal of ministers, um, as regards Mr. Bates' dismissal as a minister of government, uh, dismissals of uh, ministers is not new to Angola. Is not new to Angola. Uh, the first uh, dismissal I can recall was in 1981, uh, uh, when Claudius when Roberts was dismissed by the governor on the advice of uh, the then Chief Minister, Ronald Webster. There was some dispute in government, uh, between, uh, there was some dispute between Webster and Roberts regarding the uh, regarding accommodation for I think the Angular Tourism Board. There was some dispute about that. It couldn't it could not be resolved and uh, Webster um, advised the governor to terminate the appointment of uh, Webster. Sorry. Webster advised the governor to terminate the appointment of uh, of Roberts. And uh, four days after that, uh, Mr. Hubert Hughes uh, resigned in support of Roberts. And that led to a collapse of the government and to new elections uh, shortly thereafter. Another uh, case in point where Minister was dismissed was in, was in 1985. Uh, that was when Mr. Mr. Hughes was dismissed by uh, Sir Emil Gums. Uh, there was some dispute uh, between Hughes and his ministerial colleagues. I think Hughes wanted Hughes wanted. Uh, let me say this: before the house was a bill being introduced by Hubert called the Deposit. Balances Amendment Bill 1985. Hubert brought a motion to the House, you know, to, uh, to have this bill debated. But there was no seconder. Nobody seconded the motion. So the motion couldn't go through. Immediately thereafter, uh, Nashville Webster moved a motion to withdraw the bill from the House. That was supported by uh, Sir Emil Gums, and uh, the matter came to, to nil. And a few days after, uh, I think a few days after, on 19 February, uh, that bill was introduced in 20, on 27 January, and uh, a few weeks after, 19 February 85, uh, Mr. Hughes was relief of his ministerial duties as a minister. So those are the two, uh, the two previous occasions on which ministers were dismissed. And as regards Mr. Beard's case, there seems to be some long-standing uh, some long dispute between Hughes and Beard, thus uh, the, present, uh, the present crisis. But let me say this, that uh, the chief ministers in Angola have the authority, as a matter of fact, the chief ministers in Angola, they advise the governor on what portfolios to assign to ministers. And they also have the right to advise the governor when to relieve these ministers of the portfolios. That's it. Quick question. Um, you stated before that Hubert, because of um, Hubert Hughes resigning after someone let go was a collapse in government. Yeah, it was a collapse in government. Is it possible for this government now to collapse, seeing that we are short Walk Walcott and Edison Bear? No, this government, uh, this government uh, cannot collapse with this situation. This government still has four ministers. Sorry. Uh, this government still has the majority in the House. It has four members in the House. Walker is still a member of the House of Assembly. So the government has a majority. If Beard goes, joins the opposition, uh, then the opposition has uh, uh, three members against government four. So uh, there's no way the government could collapse in this situation. 
unless someone resigns? Uh, uh, it might not collapse. If someone resigns, it might not collapse immediately. It can probably hang on for a while. Yeah.